Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix a loud fan noise on a laptop. I'll be going over some easy ways in this straightforward and simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be outlining five simple things that you can do, five ways that you can try out to hopefully fix a loud fan noise that's happening on a laptop, okay? Let's get right into the video. I'm gonna try and go through these really quickly, so just sort of follow along and stay tuned until the end because the last one is probably the most common problem that people encounter and it's the easiest fix as well. It'll take you like two seconds to try it out and it might just work. <clears throat> okay, so first and foremost, um, there are different levels of fan noise, meaning sometimes laptops are meant to spin their fan faster or slower, okay? Turn the fan on and off, but they shouldn't ever be like super loud for the most part. So if it's super loud, um, louder than usual, then you definitely have a problem that you should look into. Number one is to stop the unnecessary processes or processes, however you want to say it. So basically, if your laptop has lots going on in the background, then guess what? <clears throat> it's gonna be working harder, and therefore the fan is going to be uh, more involved, right? It's gonna be turned on even more so. It's gonna be spinning faster, spinning more often, and so forth. So what you can do is go into the processes part of your laptop, and you can go and you can look at, at what you can close. Now, <clears throat> you don't wanna close things that you need, just things that are running in the background that you don't need. If there's a program running in the background, a system, a service running in the background that you don't need, just turn it off, just end the process, okay? It'll help you out, it'll probably make the fan run a little bit slower and therefore be a little bit more quiet, okay? Number two is to leave airspace around the laptop to keep it cool. If you are working in your laptop and it's just covered and stuff around it, or if like you have your laptop resting on a sweater or something like that, then it can't get the necessary air and that's why the fan is gonna be like really, you know, uh, really trying to work harder to get the necessary air. If you take the vacuum and you plug the end of the vacuum that is doing the suctioning, you're gonna hear the vacuum go it's gonna really be working harder. The same thing follows with the laptop. If you cover the fan area, if you don't give it enough airspace, then guess what? It's gonna be working harder. That will make it louder, okay? Number three is to clean the intake section of the laptop's fan. Now, <clears throat> on this laptop, it's much harder to do because the fan is way more concealed. Um, but essentially, on your laptop, you're likely going to be able to get to the fan. It might have a clip in its place or a screw. Um, but where, basically, what you're looking for is a really dusty area. You don't even necessarily need to remove the, the cover. If you see a really dusty area with like a grill, like just a plastic grill, then that's likely where the fan is intaking the air from. You can even just get a vacuum cleaner and just vacuum it up on the laptop. You don't even need to remove any parts, but definitely clean it off and clean your laptop in general because the dust on your laptop will make its way into the fan area, which will make it work harder, which will make it louder. So just clean the intake area, but clean the laptop in general. Number four is to replace the laptop fan with a new one. Now, I did this on my old, old laptop. So like a few laptops ago, I replaced the fan with a new one because I wanted one that was more powerful. I was doing a lot of intense stuff on the laptop, a lot of video editing when I used to edit my videos back in the day, a lot of gaming and stuff like that, a lot of photo editing, and the fan was just not powerful enough for what I was doing. I wanted to keep it cooler so the laptop could run more smoothly, so I actually replaced it. But if my fan, and it was easy to do, super easy to do, because I was able to access the fan but with basically while, while barely taking anything off, right? On a laptop like this, which this is actually a Chromebook, um, it's gonna be a lot harder to access the components because there's no openings on the bottom. But if you look on the bottom of your laptop, if there's a couple of openings, then you might be able to access the fan easily. And to replace it is a really simple process. Um, so look it up, or you can pay to have it done, but honestly, it's really easy to do. But look it up and get the direct instructions for your specific laptop model. Replace it, um, they're not expensive, and if you do it yourself, the labor's free. Um, it's definitely worth looking into if your laptop is still, if it's still got some life left in it. If it's an old laptop and it's on, you know, it's on its way out anyways, not worth it. But if it's got some life left in it, definitely worth it, okay? Last but not least is number five which is, and this is the most important one because it's so easy to try out and so easy to analyze if you're doing it or not. <clears throat> Number five is to make sure that you're working on a flat level surface. If I use a laptop like this, guess what? The fan blades 
they're probably going to be spinning properly, but they're probably not going to be spinning really properly. Like, of course, the fan blades will be spinning, but they're not going to be spinning 100% properly. Even if the fan blade is to loose the slightest bit, okay, it's going to hit along the edge or the top or the bottom of its cover and its surrounding, and that will cause it to make a lot more noise. Even if it's not hitting, just the fact that it might be vibrating might cause it to make a lot more noise. So if you're using your laptop and you're basically sitting on an angle, on the couch, on your bed, whatever the case is, and your fan is loud, that's probably the reason why. Lay it on a flat surface, give it some airspace, and those are the two quickest and easiest things that you can look into. And most of the time, that's usually what the problem is. Most of the time, those will solve your problem of having a loud laptop fan noise. But that's it. Those are five things that you can try out. Give them a try. Hopefully, they work for you. And yeah, hopefully, like the free ones, like flat surface, more airspace, cleaning the grill of the fan intake. You know, hopefully those ones work for you because then they're free and they're like super easy to do. If not, you can move on to the more advanced ones, which is like look into the internals of the laptop with regards to like the software, the processes, why is it working so hard? Is there something going on with your laptop software? And replacing the fan is another option as well. So if those are your options, try them out. Comment below because if one of them worked for you, let me know, let everyone know. This way we can sort of see what's working and we can all work together to hopefully help each other solve our laptop fan loud noise problems. And that's truly it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.